We're turning now to this week's Ag Minute. Lauren Tom joins us. And Lauren, I understand you're going to be talking about a cool summer treat that's named for the day in which this show normally airs. That's right. This week's Ag Minute is about the history of the ice cream sundae. And no dessert could be simpler. A scoop of ice cream, chocolate sauce, whipped cream, and of course that cherry on top. But does the ice cream sundae have anything to do with Sundays? The earliest record of the ice cream sundae goes back to the year 1891 in Wisconsin in a city of two rivers. At that time, carbonated water was known by the religious community as immoral soda. So soda fountains served up ice cream and the fixings without the soda on Sundays. One day, a 10-year-old girl came in on a Wednesday and asked if she could pretend it was Sunday so she could have the special Sunday ice cream. So soon they started calling it the Ice Cream Sunday and served it on the daily menu for a whopping five cents each. It wasn't long before other soda fountains were offering the same dish, but needed to differentiate it from the day of the week since it was now being served every day. So they spelled Sunday as Sunday or Sunday. And it finally was the ice cream Sunday spelling version that stuck with a cherry on top. Within 10 years, ice cream sundaes were being served at soda fountains all across the country, and the most popular topping is still the chocolate sauce. 